Naruto, 10 Best Strategies of the Series Naruto is full of strong and intelligent shinobi who come up with brilliant plans in battle. Here are some of the best. The world of Naruto is a dangerous place. Battles and wars tear apart relations between the various ninja villages. The shinobi constantly train to help protect their people and homes, and use both brains and brawn to overcome their enemies. Like any physical tool or fighting style, a good strategy is an important weapon. Many shinobi have come up with the perfect strategy to overcome dangerous opponents, even Naruto himself. Who isn't really known for his intelligence? The most amazing and clever strategies have stood out as the best. 10. Ino cut her own hair to win. During the Chunin exams, Sakura was assigned to fight against her former best friend. The match began with Ino and Sakura exchanging insults, and as it continued, Sakura's chakra enhanced speed and use of clones seemed to give her an upper hand. Ino and Sakura were evenly matched. To prove a point, Ino cut her hair and threw it on the ground. Then used it to trap Sakura and tried to force her to forfeit with mind transfer jutsu. Though the match ultimately ended in a tie, Ino showed her ability to think ahead. 9. Shikamaru acknowledged his opponent's strength. The lazy Shikamaru had little interest in fighting in the Chunin exams. He spent the beginning of the fight lying on the ground. Only moving when Tamari attacked and trying to outmaneuver his opponent with quick thinking and speed. When he was finally able to capture Tamari in his shadow, it looked like the match was over. Having basically won the match, Shikamaru then forfeited. He acknowledged that he was running low on chakra due to Tamari's attacks and that succeeding in the Chunin exams could mean more work. The village leaders were so impressed by his strategy and actions that he got promoted. 8. Naruto used personal knowledge against Kakashi. After Naruto spent two years training with Jiraiya, he made his return to the Hidden Leaf Village. The Hokage arranged for Naruto and Sakura who have their skills tested by Team 7's former team leader. Kakashi decided to host an updated version of the Bell Test. As usual, Kakashi showed up late, and the fight continued well past nightfall. Naruto thought of the strategy to use Kakashi's Sharingan and his love for reading against him. He tried to tell Kakashi what would happen next in his new book, and it was enough of a distraction to allow Naruto and Sakura to take the bells. 7. Shikaku tried to stop the Ten Tails. The villages allied together in an attempt to stop the greatest threat the world had ever faced, the deadly Ten Tails. Shikaku lent his intelligence. And after forming a plan, he shared the information with the rest of the allied forces. When his initial plan failed, he immediately began looking for another way. Madara and Abito used the Ten Tails to target Shikaku. In his last moments, Shikaku relayed his amended plan to use Naruto's strength against the Ten Tails. The rest of the allied forces were tasked with keeping Naruto safe and Naruto lent them a portion of his power. 6. Nagato found a way to fight despite his injuries. Nagato was badly injured in a fight against Hanzo. Though he had once idealized peace, his injuries quickly changed his mind. And he employed six corpses to aid him in battle. Under the name Pain, Nagato reformulated the Akatsuki with a new mission in mind, to force peace onto the world. His plan to fight from a distance allowed him to prevent further injury to his actual body. 5. Naruto dug a tunnel. During the Chunin exams, Naruto was pitted against Niji in a fight. Everyone expected the skilled prodigy from the Hyuga clan to win. Naruto was driven by sheer will. Determined to stop Niji after what he'd done to Hinata. Niji revealed that he knew several of the Hyuga clan's secret jutsu, having discovered how to use them on his own. 
with Niji blocking Naruto's chakra points. Naruto should have been down for the count, but while using a clone as a distraction, he overcame Niji by digging a tunnel underground. 4. Itachi used Izanami against Kabuto. When Kabuto used the reincarnation jutsu, he brought Itachi Uchiha back from the dead. Itachi went after Kabuto to find a way to return the dead to their graves. Along the way, Itachi ran into his brother. Together, Itachi and Sasuke tried to get Kabuto to do the right thing. Itachi used the Izanami Genjutsu, which forced Kabuto to relive the same moment over and over again in an inescapable time loop. 3. Naruto helped Kakashi break free. When they fought against Zabuza, Team 7 found themselves facing off against a much tougher opponent. Kakashi was the only one who stood a chance of defeating the missing Nin. So when Zabuza captured him, it seemed like Kakashi's three students might be unable to help. But Naruto came up with the perfect plan. He transformed one of his shadow clones into a windmill shuriken. Naruto entrusted Sasuke with throwing the shuriken and distracted Zabuza long enough to help Kakashi get away. 2. Sasuke tricked Danzo into thinking he had Sharingan left. After learning about the role Danzo played in the destruction of the Uchiha clan, Sasuke targeted the Kage hopeful. Danzo used his implanted Sharingan to perform the Izanagi Jinjutsu. Sasuke rapidly attacked Danzo, and Danzo repeatedly sacrificed his Sharingan to survive. When Sasuke used his own Sharingan to trick Danzo into thinking he still had one Sharingan left, he was able to gravely injure Danzo. 1. Minato gave his son incredible power. As the Hokage, Minato believed he had a responsibility to his village. When the Nine Tails, Kurama, got loose, he managed to capture it. Then found himself with the choice of living or sealing the Nine Tails inside his newborn son. He chose to give Naruto the power of the Nine Tails for the sake of the village. His sacrifice secured a better future for Kanoha and ensured that Naruto would become a great asset to his village. <laughs>